Hi, I'm Dr. Josh Axe, Doctor of Natural Medicine, founder of DrAxe.com, and co-founder of Ancient Nutrition. Hey, in this video, I'm going to share with you the top nutritional deficiencies most people are suffering from and what you can do about it in terms of the top superfoods to address every single one of these conditions. Number one is vitamin D. Vitamin D deficiency is rampant, and I believe about 80% of people are vitamin D deficient, and vitamin D is critical for your immune system and your bone structure. So vitamin D, if you're a person out there and you're noticing your immune system isn't as strong as it should, also your mood, your mood seems to be off, or hey, maybe your bones are not as strong as they should be, there is a great chance you have a vitamin D deficiency. Your top sources are number one, sunshine, okay? Getting outside, listen, even in the winter months, if you can, with a short leave shirt, if it jumps up into the 40s or 50s, just for a few minutes, but as much as you can, when the sun is out, get even just a little sunlight on your face, your body can absorb a lot of vitamin D with just a little bit of sunshine. That's tip number one. Number two for vitamin D is supplement with cod liver oil. You know, this is an ancient remedy that's been used for thousands of years. Do about a table, a teaspoon to a tablespoon a day of cod liver oil can help you get more vitamin D. And number three, eat mushrooms. Mushrooms, whether it's a white mushroom or a shiitake mushroom, by getting more mushrooms in your diet is another great way to get vitamin D, which can naturally support your mood, your immune system, and your bones. All right, number two is iron. You know, iron, if you have an iron deficiency, you're gonna feel weak, tired, pale, and another big way to know is look at your tongue. If your tongue is bright pink, which it should be, that means that, hey, you should be good on iron. If, you're, if, you're, if your tongue starts looking a little bit of a pale pink, that's a warning sign that you have anemia or an iron deficiency. Best ways to take care of an iron deficiency are, number one ancient remedy used in Chinese medicine was an herb called Dong Kwai. So Dong Kwai, this is an herb that you can find online anywhere. It's found in health food stores across the country, but Dong Kwai can help, or you can buy an iron blood builder supplement is also fantastic that has these herbs in it. A few superfoods though, number one is spirulina. Spirulina is an algae or a blue green algae superfood that's great for supporting iron in your body. So again, spirulina, that algae. Number two is gonna be grass-fed beef or bison or lamb, but getting that grass-fed red meat like grass-fed beef is gonna be rich in iron to support your body. And number three, now you may not love this, but liver, whether it be chicken liver or beef liver, now this is a delicacy and something eaten all over places like Germany and all throughout Europe, and actually all over the world, people eat liver, but liver is nature's iron and vitamin B supplement uh, which really helps build your blood. One other thing I'd throw in there that I like for iron is spinach, okay? So, so an ideal meal would look like you having a grass-fed burger with a side of steamed or sauteed spinach and coconut oil. That's gonna be great. Morning, hey, do a superfood smoothie with some spirulina and some collagen in it, something like that, you know, with a little almond milk and berries. That's another good uh, breakfast. And hey, throw some spinach in there as well. And then, hey, if you wanna, you know, fry up some liver. You can also buy liver capsules, by the way, as well. Look at like buffalo liver capsules or venison liver, and uh, that's good as well. All right, number three big deficiency, quite a few people have, is calcium. We know calcium is really related to your bone health. If you wanna build up calcium levels within the body, I'd highly recommend organic fermented dairy products like goat's milk yogurt or goat's milk kefir. Also, green leafy vegetables are high in calcium. I'm talking kale, spinach, chard, collard greens. So those are gonna be the best for building up those calcium levels within your body or those green leafy vegetables the fermented organic raw dairy products, and then here's another big one, sardines. Sardines are packed with calcium, and canned salmon is a pretty good source as well. So those are your best sources for getting more calcium in your diet there. All right, next one up is iodine. Now, iodine is really important for people with hypothyroidism. I do wanna give a warning here in terms of supplementation. If somebody has Hashimoto's thyroiditis or an autoimmune disease, they need to be careful taking an iodine supplement because it may, they may not be absorbing it well and then it can affect their body negatively versus if you're getting it in food form, most people are good to go. So if you wanna get more iodine, kelp is a great source in all sources of seaweed, including spirulina, chlorella, 
uh, you know, any type of algae. So again, getting seaweed and algae, especially spirulina or kelp is probably number one, a great source of uh, iodine. Iodine, again, has been linked to weak thyroid, okay, or hypothyroidism. Sometimes just doing a little bit of these foods can help, like kelp specifically. In addition to kelp, eggs are a great source of iodine. Cod fish is a great sort of iodine. And then also strawberries have some iodine as well. So getting some of those foods in can support healthy thyroid function. All right, next on the list here is magnesium. Now magnesium is probably of all the things on the list along with vitamin D, probably one of the biggest deficiencies we have today. Magnesium is responsible for more than 300 different uh, reactions within your own body. And so it's one of the most utilized uh, minerals out there. If you're having muscle cramping or tension in your body and stress, you could have a magnesium deficiency, especially tightness in your traps and in your neck and shoulder area. A magnesium deficiency is very common in those people. Just in general, if you feel tense and you feel tight, uh, if you have heart issues like high blood pressure, that's another warning sign you might have uh, magnesium deficiency. Fibromyalgia and chronic pain, it's another sign you might have magnesium deficiency. So magnesium is critical for so many things in the body. Let's talk about the top sources. Number one, spinach. Okay, there, there's a reason why Popeye ate it every day. He wanted to have big, strong muscles, but also, you know, he wanted to be relaxed, I guess. So spinach is great. Whether you're doing a spinach salad, sauteed spinach, steam up some spinach, or hey, throw a big handful in your morning smoothie, but getting spinach is fantastic. Number two is chard, okay? So these green leafy vegetables like chard, also high. And here's another favorite of magnesium, pumpkin seeds, okay? Pumpkin seeds, another fantastic source of magnesium. So remember, hey, spinach, Pumpkin seeds, you know, pumpkin seeds you can have as a snack throughout your day, throw those into a smoothie as well. You can buy things like pumpkin seed butter, you know, kind of like a nut butter there, but a seed butter, that's another great source. But getting these are great. All right, let's talk about vitamin A rich foods now. Vitamin A rich foods, also beta carotene. A lot of people are deficient in vitamin A, especially when you look around the world, it's actually the most worldwide when you look at third world countries. Vitamin A deficiency really affects your eyes. And in a, in a way, it affects your immune system and your blood. So best vitamin A rich foods are gonna be, again, uh, is gonna be not pumpkin seeds this time, but pumpkin itself. So pumpkin, those orange colored foods. So pumpkin is very high on the list. Carrots, sweet potatoes is another great source. So get some of those fall foods, those orange foods, pumpkin, sweet potatoes, carrots, and things like butternut squash. Great sources there of vitamin A in addition to spinach again. Listen, spinach has been on this list three or four times. You might as well start adding it into your diet. It makes up for a large amount of nutritional deficiencies. And then last here but not least is vitamin B12. Now here's the thing, if you are low in vitamin B12, here's what you'll notice. You've got low energy. Maybe it's adrenal fatigue, maybe it's chronic fatigue, or maybe just you wake up even after a good night's sleep, you don't feel rested but you just, you lack energy and you feel overwhelmed. Vitamin B12 supports your adrenal glands and your brain and your nervous system, okay? It's very important. It's known as the energy vitamin. Number one source of vitamin B12 is actually liver. So beef and chicken liver. It was known as nature's B vitamin and iron supplement. So uh, liver, you can buy those in capsule form though as well, whether it be beef liver or buffalo liver, uh, and that's a great way to get more uh, vitamin B12. In addition to that, sardines and mackerel, okay? Sardines and mackerel, so wild caught fish, wild caught fatty fish, like sardines and mackerel are gonna be high in vitamin B12, followed by grass-fed beef, okay? So liver, wild caught fatty fish, like sardines and mackerel, a little bit in salmon there too, and then grass-fed beef. Those are great source, natural sources of vitamin B12 there as well. So listen, a lot of people have nutritional deficiencies. By the way, the other thing I would put up here on this list, a collagen deficiency. So many people today are deficient in collagen, so you should be getting bone broth and taking a collagen supplement or a bone broth protein supplement every day as well. And that's really a big sign if you're having joint discomfort 
or possibly gut issues, like gut and digestive issues, that's typically from a collagen deficiency there as well. So those are the top sources, biggest things we're deficient in today. And I just gave you the best superfoods to address those. By the way, if you want a more complete list, simply go online and search my name, Dr. Axe, with the nutrient. You can search Dr. Axe Calcium, Dr. Axe Magnesium, Dr. Axe Vitamin D, Dr. Axe Collagen, and you will find articles I've written with the top 10 lists of all the superfoods that can support you in helping these health conditions.